Thank you, Senator. And thank you all for your service. Everybody here, I appreciate it very much. Uh, General Cavoli, I, I just had the pleasure of being able to go to Ukraine and speak with Zelensky, and I was with uh, Senator Kelly and, and uh, Senator Murkowski. It was a great trip. We learned an awful lot about that, and we talked directly to them. Our main concern was transparency. For every dollar that we're sending in, for every bullet that we're sending there, making sure it's being accounted for and used properly. And that was our biggest concern. We took it to everybody we talked to in Poland, and also, uh, you know, we, we went to the staging area in Poland. Uh, and they told us that after it leaves there, uh, that the tracking is not as good from once they leave it in Poland and put it in the theater. So we're trying to work with our am ambassador there, Brink. She has, and with, with a little bit of uh, help there, some personnel, she'll be, she'll be able to track it much better, but they're staying on top of it. I left very satisfied knowing that we have g good grass and they knowing how sensitive this is because the naysayers that we have, when you have them everywhere to a certain extent, but they're a minority, I don't want to give them any credence whatsoever or credibility that something happened wrong. We shouldn't be sending equipment, we shouldn't be supporting, and we shouldn't be financing it. How do you feel about that? And, and, and you are, I'm sure, tracking the same thing. Thank you, Senator, and thank you for your recent trip, and uh, thanks to your staff for uh, sharing your, your, your after-action review of your trip. Also, it's very useful uh, uh, to us. Um, so I feel confident that there has not been specific illicit transfer right. or pilfering of material. I, I believe we're aware of one case reported to us by the Ukrainians of a couple of automatic rifles that were attempted to be diverted, and those guys have been arrested. And they're, they're, so by and large, this is, this is a, uh, uh, an extremely strong effort that we're putting out. We recognize how challenging it is, however. A couple of things about the way we do it. So when things go to, to the staging base, in Yezhanka in Poland there, um, we inventory all of it right. at that point. I saw the clipboard. I saw all those pasties on the board. And then we ingest it into, into a computer software right. system that we've given to the Ukrainians that we maintain access to. So we can track their, their tracking of it. Where they're putting the, the, the equipment. It, yeah. it, exactly. And, you know, so it, we track it. Let, let me just say, I know our time, but let me, okay. I, I want to say a couple things here. I truly believe that we're not telling our story. With the, with the amount of support that we're putting in and all of our, our allies, there's always going to be a hiccup. Something's going to go wrong. We haven't built a base of how well we're regulating and staying on top of this and monitoring and the transparency. If Zelensky said it once to me in an hour and a half we were there, he said it 10, 15 times. Bring 100 people in. Observe what we're doing. We're happy to share. Do whatever you want. And if you see something wrong, let me know because we're looking for it too. We're not telling that from our side of it, and it's not being, and, and, and I just think that we need to get ahead of this because that way there's no saying tell your story before they tell one on you. As soon as they see something wrong, they're going to blow it out of proportion. And there's so much good support that we're giving them and so much valiant fighting that they're doing. I, I just don't want to lose that. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell part of the story, sir. Uh, our defense attache office has been diligently going well, after Tell the this press. Tell your day. press people to start putting things out. I, I, we're happy to work with them. We're happy to coordinate with you all to put out what we saw firsthand and the confidence we had. I put a statement out. I'm happy to continue that. Thanks, Senator. Let me throw this at you, too. To I'm concerned now about our, our, uh, uh, our uh, Baltic allies and, and Albania, Bulgaria, Croatia. Montenegro, Northern Macedonia, Romania, and Slovenia, they're all kind of tied into this Turk stream, okay? The same as the Nord Stream is tied into Europe. They're tied into Turk stream. We know exactly what Putin will do. He used energy as a weapon. Are we doing anything so they don't get caught in the same thing that our allies did up in, in Europe? Uh, sir, th thanks. Um, so, of, of course, the closure of Nord Stream and the weaning off of Russian gas through much of Europe has been has been an incredible success story of the last year. It is not universal, however, as you point out. Um, we've and, got we got a lot of vulnerability down here, and he'll 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 have the same playbook. And it's, it's it, exactly, sir. It's it's the exact same playbook. So we work with them to wean off it. Uh, we're not the lead agency on that. I defer to the Secretary of State for, for or the, the Department of State for specifics on what exactly they're doing. Okay. Um, but but we are operationally not dependent I'll reach on I'll reach out to them because uh, being chair I'm chairman of energy committee yes sir we want to do everything we can to basically back them up so they don't get caught exactly like our European 
allies did. Strategically, it's, it's, it would be very welcome okay. by UCOM and NATO. Can you briefly comment on developments regarding uh, Turkey's relationship with NATO? I, I just can't believe that here they are holding up the Swedes, okay, made it very difficult for the Finns, and they're playing footsies with the Russians. Makes no sense to me at all. <laughs> uh, Sir, clearly there, there's a lot of policy wrapped in there, and, <laughs> and I'll defer to my, uh, to my civilian leaders on, on those questions. I, I would point out, sir, that there is a, a sharp difference between our military relationships and our other relationships when it comes to some countries. And I, I was just down in Antakya with the uh, Minister of Defense in the Turkish Chad a couple of days ago looking at the uh, 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 humanitarian assistance that we've provided through the U.S. and NATO for the earthquake. And... Um, and um, uh, um, I would just point out there's there's a pretty distinct difference between well, they, uh, I mean, they, our military relationship. They, I'm like so that. sorry, Mr. Chairman. But Please. <laughs> but they, didn't they acquire the S-400 from the Russians? Oh, yes, sir. Him. Yeah. And they canceled F-35s? That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. So you think I need to take this in a different direction? Uh, I got you. I, mean, I, I got you. The, I know. The policy I got issues, sir. I got it, sir. I them. got it. I will, too. Thank you both. And thank all of you for your service. I appreciate it more than you know.